spiritual family is a church and we must also be committed to a church let me just take a minute to talk to you about the importance of connecting yourself in a spiritual family I hear people all the time saying things like I believe in God but I hate church or I love God and I hate church I believe in God but I don't like to go to church can I believe in God and not go to church of course you can believe in God my Bible says demons believe in God and they also go to church can I believe in can I love God and hate church you can't do that can you love my head and hate my body church is not a building church is his body you cannot despise the body and claim to love the head that is disproportional there was a guy in the Bible named Paul and he claimed to love God but he was killing Christians hurting Christians locking them up in prison and on one of his trips killing Christians Jesus stood on the road and just standing on the road Paul falls off from his horse and Jesus looks at Paul and says what's your problem dude why are you persecuting me Paul's like I'm not persecuting you I'm persecuting Christians Jesus says, you're persecuting me I don't get it Jesus you died you're in heaven you're not even here on earth Pharisees killed you I'm killing your people not you but Jesus is saying you're persecuting me you know what Jesus is saying the way you treat Christians is the way you're really treating God you can't say I love God ignore the church avoid the Christians run away from them that's how you really treat God is how you treat his people and Paul learned a very valuable lesson today and he repented he said Jesus I'm sorry I thought I loved you I thought I served you turns out it's not really so do not have this weird idea I can love God but I don't have to go to church people always say this in our generation people say things like I don't need to go to church I don't want to go to church because I just have God in my heart and that's all that's enough someone said a person a Christian who doesn't go to church is like a student who doesn't go to school it's like a soldier who doesn't join an army it's like a citizen who doesn't vote it's like a salesman who has no customers an explorer with no base camp a seaman on a ship without a crew a businessman on a deserted island an author without readers a parent without a family a football player without a team a scientist who doesn't share his findings a bee without a hive I know why people don't come to church no time busy almost every person bro I'm just so busy I'm just too busy if you don't have time to spend time with God you are too busy but it's not time issue it's always a priority issue because even when you're the busiest do you still have time to take shower I hope you do <laughs> do you still have time to brush your teeth I hope you do do you still have time to sleep do you still have time to eat of course you do and you still have time to check Facebook and watch the latest movie that comes out on the weekend don't lie to yourself when next time somebody says hey I haven't seen you for a while tell them the truth it's not important to me but see the moment you say that you're like oh my goodness that's scary but that's the truth it's not the time issue it's a priority issue Can somebody say amen people always say well there's too many hypocrites in church I've seen that person they got saved but they still drink if you think the church has too many hypocrites there is room for one more Walmart has hypocrites you still go there Starbucks has a lot of hypocrites who drink Starbucks and drink Dutch bros <laughs> hypocrisy at its finest you still go there and so many other places have hypocrites but when it comes to church well they're not really real they're not really changed well if you are so changed don't become a hypocrite by being afraid of being around hypocrites others say I hate organized religion you know most of the time on our Sundays we are very disorganized <laughs> you know I've heard people say and sometimes in our church I don't know anyone I can't I can't go I don't know anyone but trust me if you come to hunger generation you will know someone <laughs> you will know many people but maybe you've been coming for some time and after a few months or six months and you expect people always to come up to you don't do that you come up to people you talk to people make other people feel special this is not just about you this is also about them most people do come to church if you meet somebody on the street I call them CEO Christians 
CEO stands for Christmas, Easter only. They come to church three times in their life. When they are hatched, matched, and dispatched. When they are born, when they are married, and when they are dead. When they're born, parents bring them. When they're married, their spouse brings them. And when they're dead, people bring them. Don't be like that. Come to God's house consistently. How would you love for your heart to skip a beat? How would you love for your heart to work as your church attendance? One time, mm, a break for five minutes. Another time, how would you like for your kids to go to school like many people attend church? Whenever I have time. If I'm not busy, if my stomach is doing okay, and it seems like Wednesday's stomach gets disturbed. It was never a problem with my stomach until I start going to church. Every time I need to go to church, my problem is with my stomach. Or some other problems that we always come up with, people we always have that cause us not to go to church. Don't be like that. Be a person who is consistent. Fall in love with your family. Make it your family. I know the excuse some people say. Well, I don't feel like it's my family. If I would only go to my family every time I felt like it was my family, I would never go to my family. I don't get anything out of it. I went to my parents gazillion times and got nothing out of it. Do you know why I went there? It's my family. It's my family. We fellowship together, but with God, we have a chance to worship Him. And He tells us He is our Father, Padre. He is our father. He doesn't tell himself a creator. He is our father. That means we have to be a family. You have to change your mind first. Don't come and expect people to roll a red carpet in front of you and give you Starbucks gift cards and constantly say, oh, how was your week? And everything to say, now I feel like a family. And next week, if they don't do that, I don't feel like a family. Change your mind and you will be surprised how people change their reaction toward you.